in a recent interview when asked about how he feels about his time as Superman in the DCEU, Henry Cavill gave an answer that set off a tidal wave of anger because he said despite everything that was done, he still prefers Joss Whedon's take and version of Superman over Zack Snyder's and the Snyder Cut of Justice League. Wait, 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 hold up. Before the comments fill up with angry fanboys, excuse me, the Justice League. But yeah, the Justice League. You know, that version, the theatrical cut of Justice League. Yeah, it turns out Henry Cavill likes that take on Superman and that version more than Zack Snyder's version, especially the one in the Snyder cut. And that's what he said recently, and this upset a lot of people. Now, let's be honest, guys. Take the fanboy mentality the Zack Snyder is the greatest director of all time, all those preconceived notions that you have about his version of the character, and just look at it from Henry Cavill's point of view. He always said he wanted to play a happier, more optimistic, more upbeat, brighter version of Superman. Unfortunately, the only version to give us that in the DCEU is Joss Whedon's version. I know it's crazy, but... That's the truth. I mean, they went back, they did the whole mustache problem, you know, they had to CG it out, they had to bend over backwards to do some reshoots and make Superman more Superman-y in it. And I get it, you know, it's a it's a thing that a lot of them wanted and they finally got it out there. Is the theatrical version a good movie? I don't think so, no. But it is fair to say that you can see more of a comic book accurate version of Superman in Justice League by Joss Whedon. I think that's just factual. Um, if you've ever read Superman comics and wanted to see Superman be more like Superman, that's the version you got. And uh, it is something that I think you know, a lot of people that have seen all the versions, if they're not blinded by Zack Snyder and worship the air he breathes, will attest to it, even if they think it's a far inferior version of the film, which I do. Is Superman still happens to be the most Superman-y in that version, so he's not wrong. 